Hi friends, and welcome to the Nola Louise Knits channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the invisible sewn ribbed one by one bind off. It wraps over the edge and looks really fantastic, plus it's stretchy, so it's a really nice way to finish off the knits that you worked so hard on. You're going to need a yarn needle and you're going to need to cut a long tail of yarn. I recommend at least four times the diameter of your work, but it never hurts to do a little extra because you don't want to run out. This bind off is just four repeating steps, so it's not too hard to memorize. But before we can do those four steps, we just have to do two setup step steps. So I'll show you those. The first setup step, oh, I should mention, we always wanna start this bind off with a knit stitch. So if you finished your work and you have a purl stitch leading, it's not a big deal. I would just say purl that one extra stitch and it won't really matter in the final product, but you always have to start with a column of knit stitches. Okay, so for the first setup stitch, first setup, setup step, blah, first setup step, <laughs> we're going to take the yarn needle and insert it purlwise into that first knit stitch and pull it all the way through. Okay, this is the slightly trickier setup step, but it's really not that bad. So we bring the yarn to the back and then insert the yarn needle between the first and second stitches from back to front. So you can see I'm not going through that stitch, I'm going between the first and second stitch. Pulling it all the way through. And then I'm going to insert it knitwise into that second stitch. And pull it all the way through. Okay, so that's your setup. Now you're ready to begin the four steps that are going to repeat over and over again. So let's begin. Step one, you're going to insert the yarn needle into the first stitch knitwise and we're going to slip it off. Pull the yarn through. Oh, sorry, I hate when it gets stuck on there. Okay, second step. We're gonna insert the yarn needle into the second stitch on the needle. Now you can see I took one off, so this is the new second stitch on the needle. We're always gonna count the stitches that are currently on our left-hand needle. Okay, so we're gonna insert it purlwise into the second stitch on the needle. Step three, we are going to insert the needle purlwise into the first stitch on the needle and slip it off. Step four, you might remember this one. If we go around the back, insert the needle between the first and second stitches, not in them, just between them, and pull it through. Oops, sorry, I'm stuck back here. And then we're not done yet with step four. To finish, we have to insert the needle knitwise into the second stitch on the needle. Okay, so let's do those four steps again. Step one, knitwise first stitch and off the needle. Step two, Purlwise, second stitch. Step three, purlwise, first stitch and off the needle. Step four, yarn to the back, bring the, the yarn needle between the first and second stitch to the front. and then go knitwise through the second stitch. All right, let's do it again. Are you working this alongside me? First stitch, first step, knit off. Second step, purl, second stitch. 
Third step, purl off. Fourth step, oh, my hair is stuck in this. Fourth step, yarn to the back, come between the first and second stitches, and then knitwise through the second stitch. You can see how it's looking so far. Really nice, and we have that wrap over the edge. Okay, let's do it together again. Step one, knit off. Oh, sorry. There we go. Step two, purl second stitch. Step three, purl off. Step four, around the back, bring that needle in between the two, the first and second stitch, and then knitwise into the second stitch. Okay, so I'm going to show you just a little shortcut you can do to speed this up a tiny bit. Before you can see that I was pulling the yarn through after each step, that definitely makes it a little co less complicated when you're starting out, but once you get into a rhythm with this, I'll show you what you can do. So step one, knit off. I'm not gonna pull the yarn through yet. Step two, purl second stitch. Now I'm going to pull the yarn through. Step three, purl off. I'm not gonna pull the yarn through. I'm going to insert the needle between the second, first and second stitches for step four. Then I'm gonna pull it through. And then I'm going to knit that last stitch. So that speeds it up a little because you don't have to tug the yarn through every step. All right, I'm going to work the rest of the top of this mitt and then I'll show you what to do when you get to the end. Okay, so I've worked my ribbed bind off all the way around and I just have two stitches left on the needle. So here's how to finish it so it looks really invisible. First, you're going to work step one. So knitwise and off. But now, since I don't have a second stitch on my needle to go purlwise for step two, I'm instead gonna look in that first column of knit stitches. And you see how with these little series of Vs, there's this purple V at the top. That's that first stitch that we bound off. So I'm going to, it's a little tricky, but I'm gonna get my needle purlwise into the right leg of that top V. Okay, so it's almost like it was still on the needle purlwise. And I'm going to pull the yarn through. Okay, step three is to purl off, and that's our last stitch. But then, because I don't have any stitches to go around and knitwise through, I can just look at the top of my knitting and the other side of the V would have been that next stitch. So I'm going to just bring the yarn, we can almost imagine that we're going through, and go knitwise into that first stitch, that left leg of that top V from left to right. And then you can kind of give it all a tug, stretch it out a little, and it's gonna look pretty good for the beginning of your round. And there you have it. That is the stretchy, invisible, one by one ribbed bind off. I hope this video was helpful and let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Thank you.